Let's have a chat, shall we? You guys should know by now, my husband and I make and sell herbal remedies. Our full-time business is Puplums. You see all our tinctures over here, right? But if you've only been following along since we got to Texas, there may be a whole portion of the product line that you probably don't even know about. Because I have been a little bit of a slacker when it comes to making balms since we moved to Texas. They're not going away. I do intend on getting them back in the shop on a regular basis, but we have pretty much quadrupled our production since we moved from Alaska to Texas four months ago on our tinctures, so life's been a little bit busier. But that does not mean that you have to go without using our balms. You just have to go visit my best friend of 37 years, Melody, over at Layla Falora. I'll put her up here, okay? About a year ago now, Ryan and I did some restructuring at Puplums, and we helped some friends start their businesses. And my best friend, Melody, who I've known since I was four years old and is the closest thing to a sibling I have ever had, is now the proud owner of Layla Falor. And she is the only human being outside of myself and my husband that I even trust to have our recipes for the balms that we developed. And the really good news here for you guys is the fact that she only makes the balms. She doesn't have to contend with time for handling other products as well. And she does a really good job of it. She restocks every Friday and she even makes them not just in the tins like we do here at Publums, but she also makes them in tubes, which a lot of people actually prefer that method of application. So since it's Friday, let's have a quick rundown of what all eight balms that Ryan and I have developed do for you guys. We've got chest and sinus rub, which if you can imagine, goes to do with everything with chest and sinus congestion and all things respiratory related. You can put it on your nose, across your cheeks, you can put it on your forehead for a sinus headache, you can put it on your chest to help break up all the congestion. Think of it as like an herbal version of Vicks Vapo Rub, minus all the nasty junk that they put in in the commercial settings. Sublavare is a bestseller and one of our original balms that when we started this whole show over six years ago was named Fireweed Mint. Etsy had issues with that name, so we had to rename it about two years ago now. But this is the one for all inflammatory skin conditions, eczema, psoriasis, contact dermatitis, poison ivy, poison oak exposure, anything that gives you an irritated, inflamed, itchy spot on your skin, that's your best friend right there. Calendula Rose is the other original balm that we started this whole show with six years ago. It is really good for diaper rash, cuts, burns, sunburns, rashes, chapped lips, things like that. Musculus Asa is the kid that kicked this whole show into overdrive at about this time last year, thanks to my TikTok bestie, Sweets. If any of you guys follow her, you know that this time last year, she had a rotator cuff injury that she was dealing with. She was dealing with surgery and things like that. I sent her a tin of this stuff to help alleviate the pain and the swelling and the irritation and things like that. And she swore by this thing prior to surgery and after recovery. We have a lot of customers that love this for arthritis and joint issues. It's my best friend because I deal with tension headaches, and so this is what Ryan uses for me whenever he does the massage for me. Lavender chamomile is really good at helping calm anxiety and stress and also has been helpful for some of our customer base with insomnia and helping them get to sleep at night. Kierkegaard is the one you want to have on hand whenever it comes to creepy crawly season. Anything that bites or stings or things like that, that's going to help decrease the inflammation, the itching, the irritation, the rashes, all of those things. And it also has some natural repellent action as well. Primo Auxilium helps you out with all things first aid related when it comes to your skin. It also is antifungal, so it helps with nail fungus and topical fungal infections, helps with burns, cuts, scrapes, wounds, all sorts of things, decreases inflammation, helps speed up wound healing. Last but not least, bear balm, because we want to make sure that we have those with allergies covered for first aid care as well. This strictly has calendula infusion and beeswax in it. No essential oils whatsoever, so it's safe for anybody with allergies, but also can be helpful for all of our furry friends with wounds that they have, hot spots, even for their paw pads. Now, like I said, I am not retiring these from Puplums. We do have every intention of bringing them back to our shop, and I have brought them back sporadically through the past few months. But since we have quadrupled our production in tinctures since we have arrived in Texas, that leaves me with a little bit less time to get in the kitchen and make balms for you guys. So until we get the water settled from our newest transition that we just jumped into the past week or so, the balms will be a little bit slower arriving at Puppelums, but Melody has you covered every week on Friday without a doubt at leilafalor.etsy.com. 
And like I said, her recipes are my recipes. Ryan and I personally developed them ourselves. We gave them to her because we trust her with everything, including our recipes that thrive in our business. The only difference is the fact that she uses olive oil instead of coconut oil for her infusions, which is helpful for our customer base that is allergic to coconut oil. So even better benefit over there for you guys. And she has the tubes, which I don't have. And I don't know that I'll be bringing them back. It just depends on whether or not I find time to mix that into things because I don't even currently have the supplies to do so. So while you're waiting on me to get my stuff together over here to actually get back in the kitchen and start making more balms, I would love for you to go over and check out Melody. She is in our Book of Faces group and she posts there regularly for updates so that you guys know when she is restocked and she is also in my beacons.